Hello guys, welcome to all of you on my YouTube channel Terrace's Vision. And today I am going to talk about Victorian age. Yes, the age of rapid industrialization in England. The age where three words. And which are three words? Sir? These three words are doubt, dispute and distraction. Doubt, dispute and uh, distraction and who wrote these words these words were written by matthew arnold in his poem memorial verses and he talked that we the human beings are living in the age of doubt dispute and distraction so this age was first rapid industrialization and another hand it was for doubt dispute and distraction and third this is has some other characteristics also and they are slum child labor child labor rapid industrialization in england at this time england had become the workshop of the world and there was a rapid migration too. People were leaving their agricultural works and now they were shifting to big cities like London. And that's why they are established slum-like areas. You know, and this was a kind of situation where there was pessimism and optimism both. In the words of Charles Dickens, remember the lines, Charles Dickens in his famous novel, that is a historical novel, A Tale of Two Cities. A Tale of Two Cities writes, he begins this novel with the lines that it was the best of time. It was the worst of time. He has written these lines in antithesis style. It was the best of time. It was the worst of time. It was the epoch of belief and it was the time of incredulity. He has written these lines to show that on one hand, there was you know, best things happening in this time and these were industrialization. People were getting jobs and you know, lots of revolutions occurred in this age. But it was the worst of time also. And why worst? Because somewhere, because of their people, because the people were leaving their agricultures. And this was not good for them. Now from master, they were going to become the slave of industry owner people. And that's why Charles Dickens has written all these lines. He says that it was the season of light. It was the season of light and it was the season of dark. It was the season of light. It was the season of dark. It was the age of wisdom. It was the age of wisdom and it was the age of foolishness. So you are saying the words, first of all, best of time worst of time and on the hand wisdom foolishness belief incredulity all these things were happening in the same age that we know today as victorian age victorian age is famous for its you know three reform bills also that were passed in british parliament remember three reform bills Three reform bills and first reform bill was published in was sorry passed in British Parliament in the year 1832 and another 1867 and finally the last bill was passed in the year 1884 and these bills came for several reasons somewhere they had to remove the rotten borrows and somewhere they have to provide the right to owe to common people of England. Three reform bills and the best thing of Victorian is 
that is called worst also is the publication of a very very famous book of this age and that is on the origin of species on the origin of species and it was published in in the year 1859 and who wrote this book charles darwin has written this book charles darwin wrote this book and in this book he gave his theory that human beings sorry the current human beings are the result of a gradual evolution remember the words gradual evolution gradual evolution prior to this there was a belief there was a belief that human beings have been made by god in the old testament of christianity it has been written that god made this entire world in six days monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday he worked six days and ultimately on the last day that is seventh sunday he took rest and that is known as sabbath and when he created you know human beings then his first creation was adam and uh, later from the a rib of rib sorry uh, from the rib of adam he made eve the first female in this world but this book cited all these theories away all these faith away it told that no we the human beings sir, are not the creation of god but you know we are the result of a gradual evolution our ancestors were ape you know he told in this book that our ancestors were ape yeah we were ape एप मीन्स क्या है लंगूर उसके बाद हमने क्या किया धीरे धीरे हमारा विकास होता गया और हम आज इस तरीके से हैं दो दिस बुक कुड नॉट ब्रिंग मच अटेंशन इन द विक्टोरियन एज बट लेटर इट प्रूव्ड अ ग्रेट वर्क नॉट लेटर बट इवन वी कैन से इन द विक्टोरियन एज टू Victorian age starts in the year 1832 and this book was published in the year 1859 so we can say approximately 30 years of age had no any impact of darwin's theory but as this is one of the longest ages of sorry uh, of english literature so the literature of victorian age has a deep impact of this book you know there were two categories came of authors on one hand side there were those who followed god even after this book there were alfred tennyson there were some other authors also matthew arnold was one among them who believed that there is the existence of god and we should follow him and that's why due to the publication of this book they became pessimistic they became pessimistic about god that if there would be no existence of god then how would human beings would stop themselves from committing any crime and now they had liberty because earlier it was in their cognizance that if we are committing any sin then there is someone who is uh, seeing everything and finally we will have to pay off your sin but this book removed all these phenomena from the human minds and that's why we see that after the publication of this book the horrible wars were fought in history of human civilization there were wars there were wars before this book but these wars were conventional wars they were used they were sorry they were fought by using sword shield etc etc but now the wars that followed this book boer war first world war and second world war were fought using you know most technological weapons 
that were developed in that age and not through the weapons but also some other scientific theories also like chemical you know weapons chemical warfare biological warfare barb wires warfare trench warfare and ultimately nuclear weapon and hydrogen beam sorry the hydrogen weapon the recent movie oppenheimer tells that how the scientist sorry the scientist who developed nuclear weapon you know his wife cursed him his wife told him that you have you know you have surrendered human beings in the hands of death and this is not a good date so victorian is is remarkable for its you know gradual changes that were occurring in society and i have told you the characteristics of this age first of all this age is called this age is called an age of doubt dispute and uh, distraction and who's uh, in the words of matthew arnold that this is was an age of doubt dispute and distraction and why doubt because of the publication of origin of species human beings had doubt in their mind whether they should follow religion which had just faith and whether they should follow science which has uh, the testimony of everything if not everything then many things whatever it tells it gives you a witness that yes i am saying this thing because i have this proof so doubt dispute and due to this a dispute was brought in the society and people started distracting themselves some among them followed science and some among them followed religion and there were two category first category was the optimistic sorry we can say the first category was of pessimist poets like matthew arnold tennyson matthew hardy so thomas hardy these are the authors who are very pessimistic about this age but there is an author robert browning mind the words who it is romer sorry robert browning and he is called the most optimistic poet of this age and he has written many dramatic monologues and i will teach you the poems of robert browning when i will start teaching the poems and the text so robert browning was the most optimistic poet of this age alfred tennyson was the most pessimistic poet of this age or we can say Matthew Arnold even surpassed him in the matter of pessimism and ultimately comes Thomas Hardy who is the most pessimistic novelist of this age though he calls himself Thomas Hardy calls himself that he is a mentalist remember the word what Thomas Hardy calls himself that he calls himself that uh, he is a mentalist mentalist are the persons who believe that uh, what human beings can improve themselves if they need if they try to do it and the civilization can be saved uh, through this but the critics and the poets and if we read his writings then we come to know that thomas hardy was always pessimistic in his uh, literary works and the famous the most representative novelist of this age was charles dickens whose lines i have told you in the starting of this video that it was the best of time it was the worst of time you know it was a time of light it was a time of darkness so charles dickens has represented the quality of victorian age in his novels whether it is a the depiction of slum in his novel david copperfield or child labor in same the novel in the same novel david copperfield or industrialization same novel david copperfield 
projects all the characteristics of Victorian age in a single frame. Yes, it is a Bildungsroman. Where we see that a person who has taken the birth and we see the growth of this person also. David Copperfield. Whether I say, I tell, so whether I said, whether I turn out to the hero of my own life or that station will be held, anybody else, these pages must show. These are the starting line of David Copperfield. Who suffers a lot in this novel. Professor N.S. Gore, ma'am, whenever she used to tease, whenever she taught this novel, David Copperfield, she started crying, seeing or telling the pathetic situation of a small boy whose name is David, that how his stepfather tortures him, how he is sent to work in a wine factory in a very small age, how he ran away from that place and finally came to his aunt Betsy Trotwood who sent him in a school and he studies there and becomes a good man because Betsy Trotwood made him to take an oath that taught never be false. Betsy Trotwood taught David Copperfield that you will, what you will, never be mean in anything, never be false. Never be false, never be mean. And one more word is there. Okay. Or wo kati hai ki agar tumne in tino chijo ko apnaya, to mai tum par hamesa trust karti rahungi. Never be false in anything. Never be mean in anything. Never be cruel. Yes. Avoid all these things and I can always trust upon you. So Charles Dickens is a novelist who represented all these qualities, qualities in his novels. So Victorian age is one of the longest ages of English literature and the monarch Queen Victoria who came on the British throne in the year 1837. 1837 also was the longest rulers of England. In 1837, she becomes uh, the Queen of England and she died in the year 1901. 1901. And this is a time period of Victorian age. So first, uh, if we say it is, uh, it begins uh, with 1832 because first uh, reform bill was passed in British Parliament in this year. And uh, or 1837 because Queen Victoria comes to throne in this age and it lasts till 1901. When Queen Victoria died. So this age is the best of time and this is a sorry this age is uh, the worst of time also. And in this very age we see that the empire of England was in entire world. And the phrase that the son of British Empire was never set gives the testimony of all these things that are happening in England. England had become the workshop of the world. They used to get raw materials from their colonies like India, America, everywhere. And they used to manufacture these raw materials in their country and they again sold these items in those colonies. That's why sometimes in India also the freedom fighters protested the foreign made goods. So Victorian age, so it is remarkable in many things whether it is scientific theory or the development but it is also one of the most criticized ages of English literature too. Because this age, you know, had a kind of suffering for common people. They were helpless. Matthew Arnold's, sorry, Thomas Hardy, in his famous novel, Tess of the D. Arbor Wills, presents a girl whose horse 
prince dies in an accident with a motor car and because of this accident she had to work at the home of Alec Dearborn Wills who raped her. Alec Dearborn Wills raped that innocent girl and the every tragedy that came in the life of Tess was started due to this accident when her horse died. So somewhere Hardy also wants to show you that the industrialization you know destroyed the infrastructure of rural areas. It destroyed the agriculture of farmers. So this was a small introduction about Victorian age. Now I will start my this lecture with the timeline. So let's see which are the important years and in those years which were the publications and what major incident occurred in that year. So let's see it. First of all timeline the a sorry the year 1819 in 1819 queen victoria was born queen victoria was born in 1819 and she becomes the monarch of queen sorry england in the year 1837 1837 in 1830 1830 alfred lord tennyson okay alfred lord tennyson and his collection poems and one more collection chiefly lyrical no not they are not the two collection this is the same collection poems chiefly lyrical appears in the year 1830 and in 1831 reform bill introduced reform bill any first reform bill was introduced in parliament cholera outbreak in england and this was the year when cholera outbreak in England John Stuart Mill yes J.S. Mill famous writer of the book on liberty on liberty where he said uh, that you have the freedom but till that end uh, where you are not becoming uh, sorry a hindrance in somebody else's freedom yani ajadi aapko wahi tak hai jab tak aap kisi dusre ki ajadi mein badha नहीं बन जाते तब तक है जब तक आप किसी दूसरे की आजादी में बाधा नहीं बनते हैं सो ही वॉज राइटर जे एस मिल जॉन स्टुअर्ट मिल एंड हिज बुक द स्प्रिट ऑफ द एज अपियर्स इन दिस एज 1832 फर्स्ट रिफॉर्म एक्ट एंड व्हाट वर देयर इन दिस एक्ट्स आई विल टेल यू लेटर इन द सेम लेक्चर और एनी अदर लेक्चर बिकॉज दिस ब्रीफ टॉपिक एंड आई विल टेल यू आई विल एक्सप्लेन दिस टॉपिक 1833 abolition of slavery act you know abolition of slavery act and uh, carlyle john carlyle sartre researchers also published in this age 1836 1836 charles dickens sketches by boss boss what is boss boss is the pen name of dickens boss is the pen name of Charles Dickens, so his sketches by Bodge appears and the Pickwick, Pickwick papers also appear in this uh, age. 1837, Victoria succeeds the throne. Victoria, Queen Victoria succeeds the throne. Carlyle, the French Revolution. Carlyle, the French Revolution and Charles Dickens, Oliver Twist published in this uh, year. 1838, Dickens, Charles Dickens, Nicholas Nickleby, it was also published in the year 1840, Victoria marries Albert, Victoria marries uh, Albert and Dickens's The Old Curiosity Shop was published in this uh, year 1842, Tennyson, Poems, Tennyson's famous collection of book, sorry poems, poems appear in this age and Robert Browning, the most optimistic poet of this age. His famous collection dramatic lyrics uh, appear in this age, appears in the age and this was the very collection where he wrote many dramatic monologues like uh, My Last Duchess, The Last Ride Together, 
these were the dramatic monologues in this uh, poem so in this collection 1843 dickens says a christmas carol a christmas carol and carolil past and present john ruskin modern painters yes the famous book modern painters ruskin has remarked shakespeare has only heroines not heroes it is a same ruskin who is a famous critics of famous critic of william shakespeare so now wordsworth named as poet laureate in the year 1843 and he was poet laureate of england seven years and he was succeeded by alfred tennyson alfred tennyson succeeded him as poet laureate 1847 Charlotte Bronte, Jane Eyre, Emily Bronte, Wuthering Heights, Anne Bronte, Agnes Grey. Three novels were published by three sisters, Charlotte, Emily and Anne. And together they are called Stormy Sisterhood. Stormy Sisterhood. Bronte sisters also they are called. They are called Bronte sisters. So they are three in number. Sadler Bronte, Jane Bronte, sorry, Sadler Bronte, Emily Bronte and Anne Bronte. And in 1848, Elizabeth Gaskell, Mary Burton appears. 1849, the famous book, the most famous book we can say of this is David Copperfield appears. David Copperfield, whether I shall turn out to be the hero of my own life or that station will be held by anybody else these pages must uh, so and 1850 tension named poet laureate tension ko poet laureate banaya jata hai tension in memoriam and this elegy was written for whom did you remember yes for his friend arthur hallam arthur hallam and he was engaged with the sister of Alfredo Tennyson. But before this marriage could be done, he died. Arthur Hallam died and Tennyson wrote the famous elegy in memoriam in his memory. And the poem Break, Break, Break. The poem Break, Break, Break was the introductory, introductory poem of this uh, collection. Elizabeth Barrett Browning, yes, the wife of whose wife of Robert Browning, his famous collection, Sonnets from the Portuguese, appear in this is Charlotte Bronte, Surly. Charlotte Bronte, famous work, Surly appears in this is, and Charles Kingsley, Elton Locke also came in this year, 1851. Once again, Ruskin, the stone of Venice, the stone of Venice was published and Gaskell, Elizabeth Gaskell's Cranford published in this age, in this year, 1852, Dickens, Charles Dickens' Bleak House was published, 1853, Matthew Arnold, Poems, Matthew Arnold, Poems published in this age and Charlotte Bronte Villetti published in this age year 1854 Dickens's Hard Times Dickens's Hard Times was published in this age 1855 Browning means Robert Browning <coughs> men and women were published in this age was published sorry in this age 1857 yes the year the famous year of Indian first Indian war of independence first war of Independence was fought in India. Anthony Trollope, Barchester Towers was published in this age. And George Eliot, whose novels are called the novel of characters. Remember, the word the novel of characters or psychological novel. Psychological novel. And George Eliot is a pseudonym. George Eliot, kya ek pseudonym hai kiska? A female writer, Mary Ann Evans. Ka. <coughs> Mary Ann Evans, and she has written the famous book. Uh, what is the name of the book? Mill on the Floss. Scenes of a Clerical Life was published uh, in this year. 
historical novel or we can say one of the most famous historical novels of that age 1860 cornhill magazine begins iski shuruaat hoti hai eliot george eliot the mill on the floss i have told you nature repairs its own ravages its own ravages yani prakriti apni jo hai nuksan ki bharpai karna जानती और वही होता है इस नॉवेल में क्या होती है स्टोरी मैं आपको बताऊंगा आने पर टाइम 1861 एलियट सिलास मरीनर जॉर्ज एलियट का फेमस वर्क सिलास मरीनर इस एज में आता है इस ईयर में आता है 1862 सिक्सटी टू क्रिस्टिना रोजेटी क्रिस्टिना रोजेटी का कौन सा फेमस वर्क गॉबलिन मार्केट आता है और टेनिसन कृष्णा रोजी कौन है दो भाई सॉरी भाई बहन कृष्णा रोजेटी और इनके भाई दांते गैब्रियल रोजेटी और एक और इंसान एडवर्ड सॉरी न्यूमैन समथिंग हिज नेम इज समथिंग लाइक न्यूमैन ही इज सो दे स्टैब्लिश दे फाउंडेड वाट प्री रेफेलाइट इज प्री रेफेलाइट इज इट हैज नो फेमस मेंबर्स लाइक कृष्णा रोजेटी दांते गैब्रियल रोजेटी ठीक है दीज वर द फेमस नेम इन प्री रेफेलाइट Age and what it is, I will tell you later in the class. <coughs> so Tennyson's Idols of the King was published in this uh, age and 1863. Thackeray, W. M. William Macpiece Thackeray, the Roundabout Papers published in this uh, year 1864. Dickens's Our Mutual Friend was published and Tennyson's. Uh, Idols of the Heart also was published in this age, and Trollope, Anthony Trollope, can you forgive her? Also was published in this year, 1865. Lewis Carroll, the famous mathematician, Ludwig Dodson, he was a famous mathematician, and what was his real name? Ludwig Dodson. His famous work Alice in a Wonderland appeared in this age. Arnold Matthew Arnold essay in criticism was published in this age 1867 second bill passed in british parliament yani dusra reform bill kya hota hai second reform bill we can say was published passed in british parliament and the 1869 arnold culture and anarchy was published in the year 1869 and dickens's charles dickens's the mystery of edwin drood was also published in this age 1871 eliot george eliot middle march was published 1872 darwin charles darwin the expression of emotions in a man and thomas hardy famous work under the green wood tree was published in this age and the title of this book was taken from one of one of the most famous shakespearean plays and it is a comedy and i leave you this to you that you have to reply which is the play from where the title has been taken of this novel under the greenwood tree 1873 mill j s mill autobiography walter pater walter pater studies in renaissance was published 1874 Thomas Hardy Far From the Madding Crowd was uh, published Far From the Madding Crowd and the title of this famous book was taken from where 
this is also a homework and i am giving you a hint that it was an elegy elegy churchyard school of poetry and find out the line find out the work from where this line has been taken 1876 telephone invented yes 1876 sir telephone invented eliot deronda george eliot deronda was published 1878 thomas hardy the return of the native was published 1879 electric bulb electric light bulb balki invented iska jo hai invent invention hua browning ka dramatic idols published hota hai is year mein 1881 robert louis stevenson R. L. Stevenson, Freezer Island was published. 1883, Fabian Society and who founded this society? It was founded by G. V. Saw, or we can say that he was a prominent member of Fabian Society. This society worked for the welfare of lower class or labor class. We can say. 1886, Hardy Thomas Hardy, the mayor of Casterbridge, famous. novel the mayor of castle bridge was uh, published 1888 hardy wessex tales wessex was his uh, reason of writing because he was a regional novelist and wessex tales were published arnold essays in criticism also published in this age rudyard kipling the famous supporter of imperialism rudyard kipling jungle jungle baat chali hai pata chala hai चड्डी पहन के फूल खिला है फूल खिला है द फेमस सॉन्ग ऑफ जंगल बुक द राइटर वॉज रुडियाट किपलिंग और रुडियाट किपलिंग इलाहाबाद यूनिवर्सिटी के सामने रहा करते थे बगिया में समझ रहे हैं <coughs> हाँ प्लेन टेल्स एंड हिज वर्क प्लेन टेल्स फ्रॉम द हिल्स वॉज पब्लिश इन दिस एज इन दिस ईयर एटीन नाइनटी थ्री जॉर्ज बर्नर्ड सॉ मिसेज वॉरेंस प्रोफेशन एज ही वॉज अ problem play right he wrote about the problems uh, that were yeah, famous or popular in the society and this profession is of prostitution of which gb saw is talking about in this famous uh, play mrs wiren's uh, profession and now 1895 oscar wilde arrested oscar wilde the famous writer of the importance of being earnest was arrested and imprisoned for what <coughs> for homo sexuality because it was illegal at that time in england and uh, his famous book the importance of being uh, ernest was published in the year and an ideal husband this also appears in this age and hardy the most famous you know the most famous pessimistic novel jude the obscure was uh, published and hardy was so much criticized due to this novel that hardy stopped writing novels after it he did not write any novel after it because he represented so much pessimism in the in this novel that people started criticizing him uh, criticizing him a lot and after it hardy started writing poems that's why hardy is considered of both the ages victorian age and modern age too because in victorian age he wrote the novels and in modern age he wrote his uh, famous poems yes in 1897 queen victoria diamond jubilee queen victoria's uh, diamond jubilee because she had completed uh, 50 years of her reign she became the queen of England in 1837 and 1837 plus 50. How much it would be? No, not 50, but 60. 60 years she had completed reigning on this uh, throne, and she celebrated her diamond uh, jubilee. 1898, his famous collection, Hardy's famous collection, Wessex poems appears, and you know what term he coined in his poems. Uh, what is hardy's philosophy of life i will tell you this is also a homework to all of you that you will have to tell that what is hardy's philosophy of life i give you a hint that he coined this famous term in his famous poem what's the name of the poem the 
कन्वर्जेंस ऑफ द ट्वेन यस दिस इज एन एल जी रिटर्न ऑन द सिप रेक ऑफ टाइटेनिक यस लेट्स मूव फॉर्दर एटीन नाइनटी नाइन आयरिस लिटरी थिएटर फाउंडेड एंड दैट इज नोन एज ए बी थिएटर ए बी थिएटर लेडी ग्रेगरी डब्ल्यू बी इट्स दीज वर द प्रोमिनेंट ऑथर्स ऑफ दिस थिएटर सेकंड एंग्लो बोअर वॉर ऑल्सो अकर्स इन दिस ईयर एंड फाइनली द लास्ट डेट ऑफ दिस टाइम लाइन नाइनटीन हंड्रेड एंड वन डेथ ऑफ क्वीन विक्टोरिया मीन्स क्वीन विक्टोरिया dies in this year and victorian age comes to an end so it was all about the introduction and basic timelines of victorian age i have told you about that what is the meaning of doubt dispute and distraction what are the characteristics of this age that slum child labor industrialization rapid migration from rural areas to urban areas and what else the famous book origin of species was published in the year 1859 and three reform bills that were passed in british parliament i will later will discuss i will later discuss all these famous topics in a brief when i will come on them so see you all in my another lecture in my next lecture did you like this video or not please tell me with your like and comments thank you so much for watching have a good day